All right guys, so we are right now in Monument Valley and it's really, really impressive. Let me show you the view, which is pretty crazy from outside the balcony. It's so bright, so shiny. It's so good, it's so beautiful. Tonight it's supposed to be um, clear, mostly. So we're going to go out, find some uh, cool locations and take some wide field images. But it is gonna be windy, so Very we're windy. gonna have to battle so, a little bit with that. And we also have only one camera, so we'll probably have to use our phone for this video. But uh, hopefully it will be fun and uh, not too long, really quick, so... Adventure quality is what we yeah. call it. We'll see if uh, our results will be nice. So, a little bit of background. We went on our very first road trip. And it was super fun. We went to Sedona, then Flagstaff. We visited the famous meteor crater in Arizona. Even at a distance, you can see the impact of the meteor and how it shaped the earth all around it. So crazy. The view from the top of the crater was insane. And so was the wind. Of course, we had to visit on a blustery day. But we were in awe, nonetheless. We then made our way to Monument Valley. It was a long drive through Arizona and the Navajo Nation. There are so many rock formations that you could stop anywhere on the main highway and take awesome photos. Oh, look at that dust devil. Oh, look at this crazy view. Insane. Oh, I can't believe we're here. This was <laughs> my idea. It was my idea too. I love Forrest Gump. Oh, what is this? It's a carcass of a dog. A dog? Oh. oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah, okay. On the next leg of the trip, we stopped by Mexican Hat. Such a strange thing to see, and it kind of reminds me of the Sombrero Galaxy. So it's about 1 p.m. and there is nothing around us for like miles and miles and we're starving to death. So this time we brought um, camp the camp stove with, unlike in episode 15, a lighter. So we can make some food. Uh, the only problem is here that is we are surrounded by poop. I guess it's cow poop. So our food is going to probably taste like poop because it smells like poop in the air. So <laughs> there is poop everywhere. That afternoon, we found ourselves at Capitol Reef. The road to get there was incredibly beautiful. The most scenic road I have ever driven on. We stopped at least five times just to take it all in. We then went to Bryce Canyon, and can you believe it was snowing on our way there? Remember, we're from Vegas and we don't see snow often. <laughs> too much snow. Bryce Canyon is so beautiful. Sadly, it was too cloudy to image at all, but we still had fun, especially with all that snow. The next morning, it was time to head home. Wah, wah. We woke up to our car covered in a thick blanket of snow. <laughs> I was worried, but Antoine has experience driving the snow. Oof. Right as we left, we got into a sort of snowstorm leaving Utah. There were accidents on the way, and it was pretty scary. But we got home alright, and made so many memories on our first road trip together. That's right. 
But let's rewind back to Monument Valley, where we actually got to do some imaging. All right, so we are about to head out and find a cool location. Uh, it's very cold outside. And if you guys don't have one, uh, I would consider getting one of these uh, like soccer tight like thermals. tops, like thermals. This is amazing. It's uh, it's super warm. And uh, without this, I would die outside. Yeah, so, Antoine does sports thermals. I have a one as well. I did not bring it with me. So I just like layer upon layer <laughs> and then my pants layered yeah two pants all right <laughs> let's go find a cool spot okay so we drove for about 20 minutes i would say and we're stopping here uh there is a huge hill uh this is where forrest gump uh, was filmed at the very end it's where he was like i'm tired i think i'll go home now yeah so this is where it was filmed and there's a nice view on uh, on the valley, so it's amazing. So I'm going to try to set up uh, the camera here. Uh, I might use a star tracker, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see. Let's try this first spot. All right, so we're going to take a quick test shot. Um, there's so much wind, but it shouldn't matter much anyway. So I have a star tracker here, and I think this is like a bottle one zone because there is literally no light anywhere. It's so good. And you know it's a bottle one zone because it's scary when you get out. Like when you get out of the car, it's scary. It's, just it's so, so stark black, like no. It's overwhelming. Obviously, you guys can't see from here, but still. <laughs> it was a flash, is gonna help you there. But I'm going to take a test shot here, and uh, oh, but it's, it's so windy, of course. So whenever I make a video, it's always windy. But I know, but hopefully, it's good enough for you guys. Guys, <laughs> taking a picture. Let's see. All right, we have three seconds left. Let's see. Ooh, pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm gonna turn off the tracker now and I'm going to take a picture for the foreground. It's, so it's not blurry like that. So now all I have to do is remove the sky from the foreground image and combine the two. I'm not that skilled in Photoshop, so it took a while. I found out afterwards that you could simply use a sky replacement tool. It looks great, but I wish that we did a longer exposure on the foreground because it is a bit noisy. And maybe if there was like a sliver of moonshine, it would have helped. At our first location, we also took several different images, one on the road like this, and another with a car driving in the distance. And here's that car. All right, so location number one, uh, pretty good. We got some cool shots of the road and uh, the sky. So we're gonna try to drive further down the road uh, towards the, the rocks and see if we could stop somewhere where uh, there's a better angle for the stars behind. Let's yeah, see. since the roads are closed, it's really difficult to get up close and personal like we wanted to, but it is what it is. This one is the one that leads up to the fence. Watch out, because it could be glass. All right, stop number three, because number two was a big fail. It was way too, way too windy and uh it was pretty ugly so step number three uh, it's really hard because we cannot see anything uh at night there is no light at all so we can't really see any rocks so we have to stop and then uh, try to Turn see off our lights. it's really hard so stop number three nighttime. yeah so stop number three let's see if it's better I am using ISO 3200 and F4 and uh, it's pretty good so far. I'm trying to do two minute exposures and so I'm going to launch another one here because cars keep passing by and it's running my shots. So when there's no cars coming, I'm just going to launch. 
watch it again for two minutes. It's kind of scary because there's like a bunch of like wild dogs walking around there. So it's kind of spooky. But... Oh, another car coming. For this shot, I decided to make the rocks appear as silhouettes, which gives it a nice desert effect. And here is the final result of the two images together. Alright guys, so it's really windy here, so in advance. Um, so there's a cool rock in front of us over there. It's a really cool rock, so I framed the, uh, the rock in my, in my live view here. And I'm going to take a test shot. Uh, so come on this side, so the light is out in the lens. And then if we take a test shot, uh, the tracker is off by the way. And so um, with the tracker off, uh, we're going to take a, maybe a, a 10 second shot with a high ISO, like maybe 6400 at f, uh, let's say either 4 or f um, 2.5. And we'll have the, uh, the rock in our shot with a blurry sky, but a, um, a not blurry rock. So now, once we have the foreground, we're going to uh, make sure our ISO is a bit lower with an F4 so we don't have any comma on the edges. And now on this side here, uh, show them, I'm going to activate the tracking for the sky tracker. And now it's tracking uh, the doors. And I'm going to, on the document here, I'm going to activate two minutes. I'm doing a two minute shot because two minutes is pretty safe and uh, there won't be any star trails. The lens is pretty heavy, so I don't want to go over two minutes and we're going to turn off the lights now. Once we, uh, once we get home, we will superimpose those two, so the sky and the foreground, so everything is crisp. I'm going to try to make a time lapse from the balcony, but I'm not sure if there is too much light around. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to try to set it up right there. So right now I have a part of the big dipper in my frame, and I also have the security guard on the bottom right here, and the highway on the left. And let's take a, a quick text shot. So I'm doing uh, 10 second exposures at 15 second intervals. Let's see. Okay, let me make it like that. So that was the best road trip ever. It was also our first road trip together and it was so beautiful and incredible. Fun. I am so happy and so lucky that I got to spend time with some wonderful astro friends and that I got to spend time with my favorite person on our actual <laughs> anniversary week. And we got some nice stickers too as memory for the car so it's pretty cool. So we love this camera so much, the RA, so you can expect some more content as to uh, wide field imaging uh, using a DSLR camera. Uh, so it's going to be pretty awesome. So, uh, so fun. watch out for some more uh, Milky Way stuff. Huh? Milky Way. Oh yeah, Milky Way stuff pretty soon, uh, which is now I think rising around like 3 a.m. So it's, it's coming. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next time and Thanks, guys. guys.